certified most accurate. Now, your first Warn 5 forecast with MidMichigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. Well, a good Tuesday evening to you, mid-Michigan. If you weren't ready for it as you stepped out the door earlier, you got quite a jolt. As temperatures, of course, compared to yesterday, have dropped, to put it lightly, quite a bit. Instead of 50s and low 60s, we've been remanded to the 30s in most cases once again. You got the winds on top of that. And then just for that added little extra touch of winter, we, of course, have the scattered snow showers. But the good news is that while tonight will stay cold, we'll take the more wintry precipitation out of the mix over the next several hours. Here's a look at the first Warren 5 pinpoint Doppler radar tonight. You can see live from MBS, still plenty of snow shower activity to be tracked across mid-Michigan. The majority of it still congregating around and northwest of the Tri-Cities. You can see one little batch of snow showers rolling in towards Sanford and Midland right now, extending north roughly to the Gladwin area. Other snow shower activity in the vicinity of Clare and Mount Pleasant. Other activity actually on the heavier side as you move into parts of Alcona County and even on in toward Iosco and Ogemaw counties. Other snow showers in place across the thumb, but again, most of these being wind driven lake effect variety snow showers as those winds start to diminish quickly this evening. So, too, will the coverage and snow showers, and we'll even see some clearing later on tonight. Bit of sun breaking its way through the clouds in downtown Saginaw as it stands right now. Current temp, though, not necessarily indicative of that spring sunshine. 39 degrees with a wind chill of 28, courtesy of that west wind at 23 miles per hour. So, whether you're looking to get outside, get some fresh air, get the dog out for their walk this evening, Make sure you layer up before you step out the door. Quite a change in the air mass. You can see here plain as day on the regional temperature map. That cold front coming through last night, spilling cold air back in across not just us here in the Great Lakes, but all the way into the northeastern U.S., while leaving milder temperatures in the 50s, tantalizingly close on the other side of the Indiana border. It's going to take a couple of days before temperatures like that resume here in mid-Michigan. But overall, even as we look at the next week, very little in the way of typical late April temperatures. First one, five sky tracker, at least showing where our reprieve tonight will be coming from after the cold front that passed through last night, which you can see is now making its way into the northeast. We're seeing a small region of high pressure settle in from the north and west. That'll help to shut off the winds, clear our skies tonight. But then a warm frontal boundary snaking into the high plains will push another round of rain and snow showers into the mix for tomorrow. So on the hour by hour forecast, a lot of the snow shower activity beginning to wind up around, if not shortly after 7 p.m. Many of us are already seeing the skies clear by that time. As we head into the midnight hour, we'll also see that clearing really take shape across the entirety of the region. But with that clearing and the calmer winds does mean colder temperatures. We'll carry that on into the start of tomorrow morning with mostly sunny skies for many of us, although clouds already on the increase from the west. Generally cloudy skies take back over by midday. And on into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see a mix of rain and snow showers work back into the picture with a few more, as you can see, continuing into tomorrow evening. For tonight, clear to partly cloudy, lighter winds, but just cold. Low temps well down into the mid-20s. 43 is all we recover to again for tomorrow, with rain and snow showers developing in the afternoon. Thursday features scattered showers and a high of 45. Then we get back to some 50s for Friday on into the weekend. But remember, at this point in the season, we should be topping out around 60 degrees. David and Meg, I'll send it back to you.